Hey everybody and welcome back to the Choose to Think Inspirational Podcast. This mini-sode is coming to you with bite-sized inspiration designed to motivate you and rev up your mind, your brain, your body as you choose to think in terms of your emotional, spiritual, and physical health. The short format allows for a focused and targeted message that can help you quickly shift your mindset and approach to life. Be sure to check out all the products mentioned in the video. I'll put the links in the show notes and YouTube description. Now, let's dive in. Do you ever feel like you're lacking in what you're eating? And maybe you're not getting enough of this or you're not getting enough of some other kind of food. And let me tell you what we women need in the 50 plus group. We need calcium and vitamin D. A lot of people have very, very low vitamin D, especially in the state of Kentucky for some reason. And so we're going to need to have that for sure. Vitamin B12 is another one. As people age, their ability to actually absorb vitamin B12 decreases from natural food sources. And so having a supplement is really important for nerve function, brain health, and red blood cell production, right? That's one. Three is omega-3 fatty acids. And I always say alpha omega-3 fatty acids. Matter of fact, if you watch day one, all about the best brain foods, alpha omegas are on there. Those omega-3 fatty acids are on there. And those are good for heart, brain function, joint health. Generally, something like a fish oil supplement is going to get it there. Probiotics are going to help with your digestive health and boost the immune system, especially as we age. Our digestive system can become weakened, so we may need a little bit of a probiotic to help with that. And then coenzyme Q10, that's an antioxidant that helps support heart health and energy production. And we would all say, yes, sign me up for more energy. I know that I sometimes feel like my personal diet is lacking. And so I began investigating, if I'm going to take a supplement, what supplement should I take? Now I asked my doctor, my doctor said, forget the supplements, you don't need them. And he was talking about synthetic supplements or what we would commonly call vitamins. And his point was that a lot of research kind of indicates that taking a vitamin, a multivitamin every day, isn't really that helpful and it doesn't hurt necessarily, but it's not, it may not be getting you the results that you're after. And they've taken placebo groups and then folks taking vitamins and studied them for so many years. And the end result is that only on a few of the vitamins and minerals, does it really even make a difference? So I thought, okay, I still feel like my diet is lacking and I may not be able to get all of the foods that I'm eating, all of those in like every day. And I'm, I'm trying to be consistent and do as well as I can with that, but maybe still on a day-to-day basis, I'm lacking something. So then I started researching and I've got like sheet after sheet of what these supplements actually have. And I started researching whole food supplements. And a whole food supplement is when they actually take organic fruits and vegetables and they can condense them, they can dehydrate them, they can chelate them, they they have a, a process where they can just extract the very natural ingredients that are in those fruits and vegetables and compact them into one little pill. So then I thought, okay, maybe that's what I'm gonna try. Some of these things can be kind of pricey. So I was also concerned about price. I wanted something economical. What in part started this for me is that I had a blood test result where my thyroid hormone, TSH, I think, was a little bit high. It was elevated. And so that means you have hypothyroidism. Well, I've not really been diagnosed with that. And upon further study, it seems like everything's really okay because you have a T3 and a T4. And it's, you know, it deals with your brain, the pituitary gland, your kidneys, your liver, liver, all of those are kind of tied in to your thyroid. Very important function that your thyroid does in your body overall that I've learned. That's what I've just been learning about. So that's really what made me start thinking, okay, you know, I've been eating so much sea salt that's not iodized. Maybe I'm not really getting enough iodine in my diet. And that sparked this whole research for me over what can I take to make sure that I'm getting, that I'm rounding everything out. And on those days where maybe I'm lacking a little bit in something like iron, you know, my husband, Jim, and I go to give blood on a regular basis. And one or the other of us is deferred because of iron, even though we'll take iron supplements as we're coming in and try to do the 
you know, raisins and peanut butter and all those things that are high in iron, sometimes we don't make it. Generally we do, but sometimes we don't. So I also wanted to supplement with a little bit of iron, although I've heard that you don't necessarily need that. Well, back to whole food supplements. Why are these so important? One thing is nutrient bioavailability. Whole food vitamin and mineral supplements contain vitamin and minerals in their natural form, which allows what? better absorption in the body. Nothing like taking a supplement and then just passing it on out or having your body say, hey, what's that? It's something synthetic. And it's like, I don't know what to do with that, right? So at least these particular vitamins that are whole food supplements are, your body's used to those and will more readily absorb those compared to those synthetic versions and synthetic vitamins. Often there are isolated compounds in your body really doesn't know how to recognize those. Another benefit is nutrient synergy. And what we mean by that is whole food vitamin and mineral supplements contain a complex mix of nutrients that work together synergistically, that's the word of the day, synergistically to provide optimal health benefits. In contrast, synthetic vitamins often contain only those isolated compounds that I mentioned, which may, may not provide the same health benefits as a whole food supplement. Nutrient quality, whole food vitamin and mineral supplements are made from natural whole food sources, which often contain higher nutrient levels and more diverse nutrient profiles than synthetic vitamins, which may have additives, fillers, and other chemicals that you really don't want. Why would we want to do that? So those are the top three reasons it's very helpful to take these whole food uh, supplements or vitamins. And of course, you're always going to want to consult with your healthcare professional before you start any kind of supplement regimen. Supplementstudio.com. This particular brand, it's called Whole Food Multivitamin Plus, and then with iron. And what they're, I think, plusing there is the COQ10 that I mentioned a moment ago, omega-3, alpha omega-3s, omega-6, turmeric. You know, turmeric is a natural anti-inflammatory. And if you're eating a lot of sugar, if you have, you know, aches and muscle issues and um, any kind of joint issues that sometimes it's caused by inflammation in your body. Sugar does that like automatically and can just wreck the lining of your gut to start. But turmeric is something that really helps with that. I, I eat turmeric just like on my salmon. I try to have salmon at least once a week. And look, I know that's not every day. I know it's not. I know like you, sometimes I feel like, oh, I don't have time to cook all these wonderful meals and I don't make time to do that. But then it occurred to me, well, golly, what if I just started doing the right thing even one day a week instead of pressuring myself to have to just be this, you know, make all these healthy, 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 healthy decisions. And sometimes you think, well, who knows anyway, right? Uh, butter's good, butter's bad. Try ghee, try try this. Try, olive oil's good, olive oil, okay. If it's not cold pressed, expeller pressed, you know, there's so many variations of the theme now, it's hard to really know. But I decided that I can't be, quote, this perfect eater, have this great diet every single day necessarily. There are going to be gaps in there. Sometimes I just grab something really quickly and I'm out the door. Sometimes I have artificial sugar and that's like big no-no. For me, I, I tell myself, I encourage my heart by just saying, well, let me just do something right a few days a week. That's better than no days, right? So I think that's my little philosophy. I'm doing the best I can. It may not be what Sally's doing over here or Melanie's doing over here, but it's the best that I can do. And the results have been pretty good because I'm fairly healthy and I feel good. I feel fit and I get plenty of exercise and those sorts of things. And I know that that's what you want too, but I don't want you to be defeated if you think, oh, I got to do all of this. Anyway, I'm really just sharing with you something that I just bought. I've only been taking this a couple days, so I'm waiting to see how this works. It does have 25 vitamins and minerals, three strain probiotic, and it's also all vegan. It's non-GMO. The vegetables and the fruits that they use to you know, condense into these capsules are organic. The other thing is that it was affordable. I think this bottle that I have has 180 capsules and you. this is the thing I don't like about it. You have to take three a day. I really wanted a supplement where I was just taking one a day or maybe two, but this one is three so, and you have to take it with food. So I, I kind of thought, well, maybe there are benefits to spacing it out during the day for different reasons. And I just let that slide. That was one thing I was looking for, but I let that go. 
also, I wanted the things that would help my thyroid in here. So this has iodine, for example, magnesium and zinc are really important for the conversion process of that th of the hormones that are being produced and that the liver kind of converts to what is used by your body. And so those are some of the things that I was personally looking for. Vitamin D, I, I generally am okay on that because I get a lot of outdoor sunshine, but you know, we're wearing sunscreen also sunblock. I don't know if that prevents some of the vitamin D absorption, but at any rate, I was a little bit low on vitamin D too. So this has the, um, what my doctor told me that I should be taking. So I'm, and it's got iron because I'm hoping that if I get a steady influx of iron, that that's going to help when we go to get blood. So again, it's called whole food. I'll show it to you right here. Whole food, can you see it? Multivitamin plus, and it has with iron. I'm gonna put a link, that's my Amazon affiliate link in the show notes and in the YouTube description. So if you press that link, it, it's not like it costs you anything extra, but it's just an affiliate link for me. That means I've promoted the particular product that I'm using. And then um, if you purchase it, I might get a few pennies if you purchase, but it's at no extra cost to you. So I just wanna make you know, aware of, and it says it in the notes, of course, that if you click, those are affiliate links. Very common for people to do on YouTube videos and on their podcasts and things like that. So join me and let's see how this goes taking this whole food multivitamin plus with iron. Let's see if it makes any difference in our energy levels in my iron level. I'm going to see if my body can absorb that and keep it up there. I'm going to see if, you know, I don't didn't really have any of the symptoms for hypothyroidism necessarily, but suddenly I felt like I was talking myself into like fatigue and aches and blah, all this stuff when really I really don't feel those things, but it was like I was talking myself into them. So there you go. Another go live episode, our third one. Thank you for tuning in and for watching. And let me know what supplement you take. Give me a comment. And do you take them? Don't take them? Like them? Don't like them? What's your go-to? What's your favorite? Because I'd really like to know. I'd check it out myself. And that's a wrap, Brain Changer. And listen, if you like what you hear, would you leave us a one to two sentence review at Apple Podcasts, share the link with a friend, or tag me on your share on social media? It would mean the world to me and would help us to keep shining the light of Christ and sharing the good news to others who are in need of encouragement. Please visit us on our website at choose to think.co. That's with the number two, choose to think.co, to get on our monthly newsletter list. And if you need a guest speaker for your next women's retreat or church event, I'm your gal. Email me at choose to think at gmail.com and that's with the number two choose to think at gmail.com finally i offer limited free mentoring sessions each month where you and i can chat to help you develop a strategy for your thoughts in any area of your life i'm a certified life coach and i have something to share visit choose to think.co and click on mentoring for more details also keep in mind that the messages on this show are for informational and educational purposes only please consult your medical doctor for all all medical issues. Thank you again for tuning in. God bless you.